Hi Gemini, welcome to the extended. So I'm gonna just get right into the, the cards. Um, we're still answering the question of like what you should be focusing on. But for this part, I'm gonna actually move into what your person is going through because their energy is represented here as well. So remember they're showing up as this, as this frog, right? It's like, I feel like they've gone through a really significant sort of metamorphosis where they're coming out of sort of an, an emotional state or, or just focusing in on the, the watery realm, whatever that means. Um, but this card also talks to me about healing. So I feel like they've also been doing sort of a lot of healing. Um, and especially with the beaver, cause these two cards, again, both of these are kind of, oh, that's interesting. Both of these cards are water signs that also are comfortable on the earth, right? It's like they're both water and earth kind of combined. So regardless of whether or not they're a water or an earth sign, it's like those are the sort of the elements or the areas of their life that they're focusing on. Emotions and the physical aspects. But what's interesting now that I'm holding these two cards up, it's like the colors here are, are inverted. It's like the color or, and also the shape of like the, the format of the cards are inverted. So it's kind of like, for them, there's something to do with their physical environment is shifting a lot, right? It's like they, they may be moving, especially because it with the 10 of materials, because that card talks about like your physical environment, how it is manifested, regardless of whether or not it's actually a 10 of materials, sort of like legacy, long-term stability, all that. It's like the stable environment that you are living in is your 10 of materials, but it's like, that's what they're cutting down, right? In order to rebuild. And I want to say absolutely that they are focused on you because it's like, you are absolutely shining. I want to say, or glowing with this chariot. It's like, they, they are focused on you. They do know that they have to move towards you, but it's kind of just like, they just got their their legs, right? They just got some sort of new understanding or ability or um, truth or whatever it is, or, or they've just perhaps started their healing or in the process of healing, that kind of thing, where it's like the, the, pr the progress, it will take time basically, right? It's like the, you can only drive so fast. You can only like walk so quickly or run so quickly there is sort of a time timing kind of element that's at play here but anyways so the cards that they are coming out with is this one the squaring the circle which is so interesting this card talks about well it's an alchemical sort of phrase i believe um where it talks about putting like a physical structure onto a spiritual like idea or concept right which is it's like it's like sort of what I'm doing here where it's like I'm trying to put words and sentence structure and story onto an energy dynamic right it's like trying to put like match the energy to the physical so I feel like for them they're absolutely doing this sort of like or experiencing I want to say some sort of healing work or or inner, like tapping into their inner guidance is kind of how this is coming through with the Hierophant and the Nine of Emotions and the Page of Inspiration. Because again, this Nine of Emotions, right? It's, it's an emotions card, it's a water element, but she's sort of levitating out of the water and all of these diamonds were a very physical aspect. So it's like the integration between water and earth in terms of like their emotional state and how that is represented in their physical environment. But of course the nine of cups also talks about like, um, emotional stability, right? Emotional stability, wish fulfillment, you're content on your own kind of thing. Like perhaps they're healing some sort of, um, anyway, I won't get into that. It's like they're, they're but they're, they're doing it with the Hierophant energy, which is talking about, to me, like going on like a spiritual quest, right? Like a vision quest or something like that, or just seeking their inner guidance is how that's talking about. Like perhaps there was this dynamic where they weren't doing that. They were kind of just following along 
which is what the ten of materials talks about right it's like what's prioritized in this ten of materials which is what they're moving out of is that this structure the the health of the group dynamic is more important than the health of the individuals if that makes sense and so now it's like now they're focusing on them as an individual what it is that makes them healthy and happy i want to say um and it's <laughs> Because I want to just talk about this, these two cards here. Because I look at the colors in this one, right? It's like they, they're finding the correspondence between the spiritual and the physical, right? Making sure that there's a match between there because I feel like there wasn't before is basically how that's talking about. It's like for this 10 of materials, it's like they, perhaps they were like sacrificing some aspect of their happiness in order to keep this structure intact, right? But now it's like now that they've sort of cut that down in order to rebuild or to, to start with this blank slate energy, it's like they're having to perhaps do some... Because this, this Hierophant talks to me about like almost like a hermiting energy, right? It's like they're... They've gone inward in order to seek higher knowing or understanding, that kind of thing, um, in order to bring that into the physical. And with this page of inspiration here, which I love, because it talks about listening to your guidance or your guides, right? It's like having this sort of, like, sort of source of inspiration and it's having absolutely physical effects on perhaps how they, how they appear or what it is that they're doing or where they're putting their attention as well, right? It's like they're, they're, they're stretching or developing or growing some sort of new, new connection to their inner guidance is how this is feeling like. And with this card, the rebirth, which I love so much, it came out in a reading a couple days ago, which is talking about like exactly what the squaring the circle is right there well first of all they're going absolutely through some sort of rebirth but it's it's like with the hands here again it's like they they know what it is that they're looking for right spiritually um they're they're seeking some sort of state of like happiness belonging well-being all of that kind of thing and then trying to find it in the physical so it's like for example looking for a blue circle in your environment there can be many examples of blue circles right so it's kind of like they're they're trying on different options or um, possibilities to sort of see what matches their inner experience does that make sense it's like they're trying to like trying a whole like picking up a whole bunch of blue circles to see if that's the one that fits their their needs or experiences or whatever it is, right? And that's sort of the rebirth process that they are going through. But I feel like absolutely, it's like it, they are moving towards you. This process is absolutely necessary for them in order to, um, like, set, like make the steps or, or take the steps necessary in order to do that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave that section there. Um, what are some areas of growth for you and your person? Um, the first card that came out was this cosmic egg, which I absolutely love because I don't always know how to describe this one. Today, it's just talking about like the spiraling, right? It's like, I feel like for, because it's an egg as well, To me, it talks about like complete completion, right? It's completion, but the fact that uh, it's a spiral, it's not always just like a 2D structure where it's like a beginning and an end, a beginning and an end. There's a, a beginning and an end, but it always sort of returns to the same place, but at a, at a higher level, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like you are going through this cycling aspect with you and your person. So because of also the deja vu, I'm going to say it could be it could be twin flame relationship. I'm trying not to bring the twin flame energy into sort of my general readings, but I have to say that it does feel like that. Um that there is this sort of like cycling that happens in in that process. 
Um, but it talks about sort of the integration of the crown as well. And then here, which is incredible, you have the otter and the hummingbird. Again, a water and an air sign. So you are this hummingbird, Gemini, and your person is this otter. It's like, but what's so interesting is this circle, the focus, right? It's like the, the area of growth for both of you is to absolutely focus on the other, right? It's like, you know, I, I don't want to say, because perhaps I, this only applies if like, perhaps you've been focusing on other things or it's like trying to remember that the other one is absolutely showing up. It's kind of like showing up for each other. Is that, does, does that make sense? I'm trying not to like, because I know there's so much about twin flames that are just like, there's an, like an icky, almost like dynamic. If there's not enough healing done yet, if like, if, if either of the twins haven't completed their healing, it can get really messy, right? But for you, Gemini, it's like the focus for you is that you, you are absolutely at this healing, right? It's like you've, you've achieved it. If, if not yet, that like the only thing that you need to do or remember is to, to sort of focus on your breath, right? With the air. Um, because I feel like for you, it's like the only issue is it's almost like the only thing for you is that there's fear that your person is not going to show up, right? That's kind of like the only thing left here. It's like you've gotten to the finish line. You're at the finish line. And like the be, while you're waiting there, it's like the only thing that is sort of occupying your thoughts or worried about it is that what if they don't show up? That's what this card is talking about. But it's like you're they're there they're absolutely there they're they're on their way is basically how this card is talking about it's just like there's a there's a process that needs to unfold with the otter being like sort of like the soulmate energy of like holding on to one another in sort of this like river right it's like they are doing that for you and i feel like you also need to sort of do that for them with the with the hummingbird it's talking about lightness of spirit it's like unburden your spirit, unburden yourself from whatever this is. If you are ever feeling sort of this energy of like, what if they don't show up? It's remembering just to breathe, right? Just to breathe, breathe through it. Um, and it's easy as just letting it go. Just unburden yourself from that energy because it's not serving you at all. It's putting you, that sort of thinking process is, is putting you in this disoriented state, right? Okay, and then we have here, <laughs> you have here the death card and the emperor, right? And it was 1313 as I put up the death card. Um, absolutely, there's something to be released, right? And I, this one I talk about as being um, like, as being sort of just like having cobwebs in your brain. Right? Like just like having a lot of things that don't belong and just letting it go. Um, that, that absolutely sort of keeps you in this like stuck energy, right? I feel like there's something there for both of you. There may be sort of um, because there's that sort of like twin effect there as well or mirroring effect that there may be an energy or energies that are needing to be released by both of you, right? And then you have here the emperor which I love when the Emperor and the Chariot come out together in a reading like this because they're so related, right? They're very, very similar energies today. But for here, for the Chariot, I was talking about like the hand sort of being tied or having to um, ground your energy through other means, if that makes sense. Like focusing on, on other tasks in order to almost like distract yourself from, from waiting is kind of how this feels like and then the emperor here because the hands are up right the hands are are almost like turned back towards you gemini so i feel like that could be what it is it's like how can you how can you turn the energy back onto yourself right it's like if you need to ground your energy somehow is there a way that you can do that um that perhaps doesn't 
disorient you, right? It's like something about the wings. Not that you should like, f like purposely fold up your wings, but it's, it's talking about almost like focusing your, or like trying to protect this energy, right? It's like trying to protect there was like some sort of like, it, it, cause it felt like an umbrella, right? An umbrella or um, protection, shielding perhaps. And I feel like that's what's needing to be let go. It's kind of like you're, you are using your uh, wings or trying to ground your energy in order to protect this lover's energy is kind of how it was feeling like. It's like you're, you're trying to like shield it, right? Like trying to shield it or protect it in some way but i feel like for this instead of for the emperor to come out it's talking about like that energy of protection is perhaps not beneficial to you because it, it's it's leading to disorientation right you feel flipped upside down <laughs> even though that perhaps may be a resting state it's like you you you're not sure whether or not you should rest or to act. And it's kind of like what this is talking about is absolutely to, to act, right? With the emperor sort of being the masculine energies, but doing it in a way or like focusing your attention or your action on partnership is kind of how that feels. Cause you have, you have here the partnership card, which I will get to. But with the seven of emotions here, it's kind of like, this is what this chariot energy is talking about. It's like you're receiving this information like about the partnership perhaps, or, or this dynamic, but it's kind of like, instead of focusing it on the partnership, you're focusing it on other things or other people or other projects or whatever it is. And it's kind of <clears throat> with this emperor here, with the hands up, it's almost like, don't do that. <laughs> don't, or like, try, tr try to find a way to um, not, not spread your energy too far out to others is basically how that's talking about with the emperor. So sort of focus the energy back towards yourself, if that makes sense. Because you have here the emptiness card, which is interesting because of the, the weightlessness and the emptiness are so similar. It's kind of like, your energy was being spread out too thin on other people or other dynamics, and it was causing this sort of ungroundedness. But with this weightlessness card, the message that came through, the quote that was in the book for this one is that um, we use, we mold clay to form a pot, but the usefulness comes in the empty space in the vessel, right? So it talks about, <clears throat> clearing your energy. I feel like it's almost just saying to shut it off, shut off the energy source. Um, perhaps you're doing too much, Gemini. Perhaps you're like doing too much where it's like you're, you're trying to use the energy that you're being given to be productive or like to do stuff. But it's like, you almost don't have to like just just shut it off, right? Like just turn off the energy and become empty. It's kind of how it's feeling. It's kind of a confusing message. I feel like that will make sense to you if it's for you. Um, but you also here have the strength card. I feel like that's what this is talking about. The strength card talking about, to me, it's like trying to move a boulder by yourself, right? Or trying to move like a bull or like try it's trying to do too much. I feel like there's, there's all of this sort of like burden here, but like the focus is the the hummingbird, right? It's like you want to be the opposite of this. I feel like you're trying to take on too much or do too much in order to perhaps let or like bring in this partnership or like um, or or whatever it is, protect it in some way, right? With all the protection sort of energy or shield it. It's like there's too much. Perhaps there's too much focus on it. Perhaps that's what it is. Instead of focusing on the partnership, perhaps there's too much. That could be an aspect of it as well. Um, but because of this partnership coming up, 
right? It's like, it's what this emptiness as well is kind of like talking about forget everything that you knew about or any sort of judgment that you have on partnerships in general or or dynamics or relationships or whatever it is it's like first focus on yourself right this partnership card is that focus is that in order for you to do or to be a good partner or whatever it is you have to be um a good partner to yourself and i feel like that's what this emperor card is talking about it's like instead of focusing on how can I make this partnership work or be better or whatever it is? It's like, just focus on, on you, Gemini, on, on your energy. And it's like, if you need to shut off the energy from other influences and just become sort of like an, a judgment free sort of, um, energy. Cause there is sort of like with the, with the strength here, it's like sort of, and the burden because this card came out yesterday as being sort of like a set of rules, right? Or like the, 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 d your tasks or the things that you know about a, a given circumstance or, or a set of conditions. It's kind of like, forget all that. Let it all go. Become empty because I feel like there's, you're putting too much focus on perhaps what the partnership should look like or like what it is that you expect from it. There's like a lot of sort of uh, options or or choices or like expectations even perhaps. And I feel like your your partner has to do that as well. There is sort of a, because it's like both of you in this dynamic together, there is sort of that like both of you are asked to focus on this of like focus less so much on the other person, but more so of how you can be the best version of yourself in this dynamic um, through meditation, right? With the sun, it's like everything's going to work out fine. I feel like it's like you already have all of the momentum necessary. One person is sort of ready and at the finish line. The other one is on their way there. It, it's just like with this, with the six of voices, it's like they're, they're moving as fast as they can. Um, and there is an element of like, they have all the support from higher energies or however you want to phrase it, their guides. They're absolutely listening to their guidance. They're moving forward. They are almost like jumping over obstacles, right? It's like they're, they're moving swiftly and efficiently and confidently towards this finish line <laughs> and then here you have the eight of voices which is interesting because this is the bat right this is the bat energy it's like you have to but it's upright and so it's kind of like you are absolutely getting insights and information through your non-physical senses However, it, it's like, I feel like you're doubting that, right? Because the Eight of Voices talks about sort of like um, feeling stuck or, or all that. It's like, it's, it's doubt. It's free yourself from the doubt. Just let go of the burden of the, the sort of overthinking or worrying. Um, but with this, with this Muse of Materials, right? This talks about uh, a passageway through to the physical. Because I feel like that's what's... The whole part of the whole theme of this reading today for you, Gemini, is that your your spiritual or um, non physical senses are giving you information, and it's not being grounded into your physical. Is what this is talking about, and so it, it's like I feel like that's causing perhaps anxiety or worry or tension, or it's like you're trying to find perhaps distractions or like ways in which to ground that but with this with this weightlessness and the emperor because the emperor look how similar these cards are the only difference right it's like they're both floating they're both weightless it's like you can stay in this state but remember just to put the energy back towards yourself i'm not sure what, how exactly that is going to play out for you but it's like if you're focusing your attention on others or on 
other things or on other projects or external perhaps like like things um it's it's telling or it's, it's suggesting or or perhaps asking you to try to turn that energy back towards yourself in some way and then finally you have here the forgiveness card which is talking to me about it's it's um this right the strength because it, it looks like a thought bubble right like a speech bubble it's like you're you're trying to think about or like move an obstacle or something like that but with the forgiveness it's like leaping over whatever those obstacles are i feel like absolutely there is sort of um this dynamic here or this energy here of like i feel like your person absolutely is is doing a, a significant amount of healing work where they're just bringing in a lot of forgiveness but the thing about forgiveness is that you can't you can't force forgiveness you can, like if you've been wounded by somebody or or hurt by somebody as much as you say that you can you you forgive them forgiveness doesn't happen until you've healed right it's like they they're but they're at that stage or they are focusing on that stage it's like because they're focusing on healing there's a lot of healing sort of energies in this reading today they are naturally moving towards forgiveness right with the strength card it's like try it's reminding you that you can't force something that is not ready to happen basically um okay i hope that made sense it felt kind of unclear near the ending but i feel like that's just part of your your energy today gemini where it's like there's a lot of like like perhaps doubt or or concern or worry that what it is that you're receiving sort of spiritually or um f through your non-physical senses is somehow not correct but that's not that's th unburden yourself Finally, uh, I'm going to end with the Moonology cards. So the first one to come out is work through your fear is New Moon in Scorpio. Absolutely. I feel like the fear here for you is that your person's not going to show up, but they absolutely are. Work through that because I feel like there's an, there's something here to, for you to discover about why it is you think that, right? Why is it that you think that your person is not going to show up, even though all of sort of the signs are pointing to yes? Okay. And then the answers that you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini, absolutely. Uh, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and Cancer, which is what we started with. And again, another Gemini card for you today. Communication is key. The new moon and Gemini. Um, so I do feel that there is communication coming. But, but that'll play out for you. However, you, however it does. Uh, thanks so much for watching, Gemini. I do have other videos if you're interested in checking those out. Thanks for sharing your energy with me and I will see you next time. Bye.